Joe Burke, aka Joe Burke Do Work, here to show you a little how-to video on how to pack a bowl and set your bowl up for a great smoke session. Uh, today we are we are packing the um, traditional Egyptian clay bowl. Um, you're going to take your favorite tobacco. Uh, today we are using uh, mint from Al Fakir. Um, when you're packing your bowl, you want to make sure it is fluffy and broken apart. So what I like to do, you don't have to do it. Uh, I throw it here on the cutting board and I like to cut up pieces into small little pieces so you can um, break it apart easy. Uh, there's different brands. Starbuzz breaks up a little bit easier. Um, 360 it does as well. Tangiers. Um, but I just like to cut it up nice and small like so. Makes it easier to fluff. Okay. So what, all you're going to do is you're going to sprinkle your tobacco into your bowl, like so. Make sure you don't press down too much. Uh, you want to you fill it just below the line of the bowl that you're using, like so. Okay. What I like to do is take, uh, I have a needle poker, you could take a, um, a pin or a toothpick of any kind. I like to... Uh, Open up the center hole that's in the middle, helps with the airflow. Kind of have the tobacco surrounding the uh, the hole like so. You see the nice middle section open. I'm gonna wash my hands real quick. Okay, you can use any foil you want. Um, I have the traditional Reynolds wrap, uh, heavy duty. Um, heavy duty and regular uh, both give different sessions. The heavy duty lets it smokes a little bit better. Um, it's thicker. It won't burn your tobacco as fast. The thinner foil uh, will cook a little quicker, but you get, uh, I think, more smoke. Um, you just take any piece. You want a little bit of access. You know, you, you, it's, you can't hurt to go bigger than smaller. Um, I just take a nice big strip, cut it down the middle like so. Okay, now you've heard, you've probably heard a lot of different things. Um, some people say shiny side down, some people say shiny side up. Personal preference from smoking so much, I like shiny side up. Uh, being when the coals sit on top of the, the shiny side, that's where all your heat contracts. Um, if you have the shiny side down, it cooks your tobacco faster, and I think it burns quicker. Uh, try each way, let me know what you think. Um, but I like shiny side up. So all you're going to do is you're going um, to pull kind of tight, okay? You're just going to... Put, put the foil over like so, and what you want to do is you want to cave it over. You want to make it as tight as possible, like so. You want to seal the edges nice and tight. Make sure there's no airflow. And what I like to do, a little trick that a lot of people don't do, is I'll take my, my thumb and I'll trace the edge of the bowl like so. Trapping all that so then there's no airflow. Okay, and then what you're going to do is, like I said, you could take a needle uh, I have this nice little poker from um, fumar.com, uh, it's only like $5, uh, you can take a pin, you can take an earring, anything small, you want small holes, um, the bigger the holes, the faster the coal will burn up tobacco, and what you want to do is make four rings around, uh, kind of evenly spaced out, I, I say about a uh, centimeter apart or so, and uh, you want to poke, and when you poke, you want to go all the way down through. Uh, that piece is a little bit big, but that's okay. And what you want to do is you want to stab the tobacco, and as you're making your holes, you're kind of breaking up the tobacco inside as well. I go all the way down. And all you're going to do is you make a ring, and you just keep going around like so. And you just keep going around. Once you have your holes poked like this, I like to um, I blow the bottom of it. It uh, brings the tobacco up, keeps it nice and fluffy, so when you're smoking, the airflow is nice. And then uh, all you're going to do is take your coal of your choice, um, and all you're going to do is put uh, heat your coals up, put it on top, and uh, you're ready for a great smoke session. Uh, any questions, concerns, uh, let me know. Uh, drop a comment on my page. Um, anything you guys want to know, any tricks you think you know that I don't know, let me know, because I would love to find out. Uh, thanks for watching. Like I said, please leave a comment, subscribe, and uh, I have enough videos coming for you guys soon. Take it easy, guys.